Hi, I am Nadia Shaw, TME from the Brocade Campus Land Team. Today I'll show you a quick and easy demo that I recently did at an ABC for an entrenched Cisco customer. They were hesitant about moving towards Brocade because they didn't want to learn UCLI commands. As a previous employee at Cisco, I was able to demonstrate areas where the commands were similar, as well as areas where Brocade does things better. All you need is a simple script, an ICX switch, and your laptop. So starting from Putty, you'll notice and when you click on Serial, the baud rate, the parity, the flow control, all of that is the same. I'll jump right into the unit instead of waiting for it to boot up. So you'll notice that a lot of the commands are the same. We're going to start by typing enable completely. Um, you could shorten this by just typing en. Another thing is configure terminal, which would look really familiar for a lot of you. You could type out the entire configure terminal, or you could type comp and tab and t and tab, or you could just shorten it all together. I will go into the first interface and set up an IP address using CIDR notation. CIDR notation, if you remember, is like slash 24 or slash 27. I will demonstrate that we can also use dot decimal notation, which is pretty standard across the industry. Um, you'll recognize this as the 255.255.255.0. It's a lot more burdensome to type out. Next, I will demo how to set up a VLAN. We'll set up VLAN 10 and we'll tag the Ethernet ports, number 3 through 10, and then we'll do untagged for ports 13 or 11 to 13. The difference between us and Cisco is that you put the ports to the VLAN instead of the other way around. Next I will demo how to set up an access list. Now one thing that you could do is copy and paste directly from a Cisco command line onto Brocade's uh, command line and show that the access list function the same, or the standard access list. Um, I will just type them out here manually for you. You can see one permit access list and one deny. You can also set up IP routes, manually setting the distance. Once again, showing CIDR notation, a lot more easier to type out. So doing a quick show run, common command, you can see all the things that we have just typed out and I'll just copy this into memory with write mem. Next is the question mark which shows all the possibilities of what you can type under that category as well as completions so you can type one letter and a question mark and it'll show you how to complete it. So you can see all the possible show commands. This is just a brief overview over the Brocade CLI. For those Cisco veterans out there, you need not worry about the transition from one command line to another. For any further questions, please reach out to askcampuspm at brocade.com.